Hello, everybody. Thank you very much for tuning in tonight to Hot House Global. The collective project is created and produced by a team of people who have come together to provide cultural programming and a resource for social justice activism. Our team is me, Marguerite Horberg, David Offenberg, Edward Wilkerson Jr., Jonathan Woods, Dushan Mosley, Luis Che, John, Bea Cabrera, and Vedran Rasibigovic. Our collective is volunteering to present this work so that money can be raised to support musicians adversely affected during this health and economic crisis. You should find donation links on the Twitch channel page and Hot House website. P please contribute to the performers and to Hot House so that we may sustain the project through donations and community support and not impose any barriers to participation. One goal of this project is to provide greater access to the arts and to present cultural voices that are not typically found on commercial stations. These are live events and as such have a few rough edges as the technology is being developed. If the feed drops, please stand by as it will likely begin again shortly. Please spread the word. You can watch Hot House Global on Twitch TV, Streamlabs, YouTube, and the Hot House website. You can also start your own watch party on Facebook by sharing the live feed with your friends. Please also chat, comment, and donate. We hope you will give us your feedback and let's grow together. Program information about the events on this station and other projects organized by our nonprofit organization Hot House are detailed on our website hothouse.net. If you would like to host or curate a program, kindly drop us a line at hothouse3.0 at gmail.com. Thank you for being the most important part of Hot House Global. Please sit back. Enjoy the show, and we should start the stream very shortly. Thank you. Good evening. My name is Regina Harris Bayaki. I am the founder of Six Degrees Composers, and I'm very happy to be here tonight. Thank you very much, Marguerite. We are here to celebrate National Women's, or actually it's in Women's Heritage, it's international if I'm not mistaken. So this is Women's History Month where you get to hear a lot of music by women composers. We encourage you to read books by women composers. We encourage you to just be aware of all the contributions that women and girls make in society. I was in a classroom the other day and I reminded people uh, the James Brown lyrics, this is a man's world, but it would be nothing without a woman or a girl. And by the way, James Brown's uh, uh, song was written by a woman. So that's your homework for today. When you leave here, if you don't already know, I want you to look up the name of the woman who wrote, uh, it's James Brown's tune. So we're here, Six Degrees Composers was founded in 2011. So we are celebrating our 10th anniversary, rounding into our 11th. And we're so happy and proud to present a wonderful program tonight. Our first set will include Esther Hanveria Punt. Esther has two pieces on the program and she will introduce you to them. And then Dr. Patricia Moorhead will follow Esther. So if you don't have a program, it's on our website a printed program, sixdegreescomposers.com, but you don't really need one. But after the program, if you want to look at some biographies of each one of the performers, each one of the composers, or if you want to know a little bit about the compositions, then you can go to sixdegreescomposers.com and download our program. So without further ado, please welcome Esther Hanviria Punt and Dr. Patricia Moorhead. Hello, it's a pleasure to be part of Six Degrees Composers and under the aegis of Hot House Global Concerts to play for you our new music works. 
Here's a freshly minted one, supposed to be for bassoon, melodica, and piano, but this being winter 2021 and health reasons being kind of fragile, I will have to do the whole piece in a trimmed and condensed version. The first and second entrances are by the melodica, followed by the bassoon. I hope you will like it. It is called My Silent Hope. Thank you. Hello, it's a pleasure to be part of Six Degrees Composers. Hello, it's a pleasure to be part of Six Degrees Composers.
Bughouse Square is the popular name for the Washington Square Park, just south of Newberry Library. Many years ago, one could hear lively debates in the square. It was a celebrated open-air free speech center in the country, and it was that place that inspired Sud Sturkel for his oral history books and his radio work. But I could imagine jazz, and dances in that square.
lockdown unraveling expresses the surge of different feelings I have experienced during this very long time of isolation from family, friends, and making live music for our audiences in the North. I have felt moments of hope and many moments of sadness and frustration about the future even after the world has regained the so-called new normal. It has been a long time of aggravation and sadness for me. I hope you enjoy the expression of my music about these feelings that I've experienced during this long, long time due to COVID-19.
to uh, just heard Dr. Patricia Moorhead, and before her, you heard Esther Hanviriapont. Both of those were world, world premiere performances. So uh, let us know what you think. Uh, you can do that either by making a, a donation, uh, and the donate button is under the about section on Twitch, and in Facebook, it's in the description section. Or you can drop us a line at sixdegreescomposers.com. That's our website address. Our next set. Uh, I'm really, really excited about this first piece. It's a piece that I wrote for a children's group in Arlington, Virginia, and it's called Journey. Um, Miriam Capion, who is the uh, director of the fourth and fifth grade choir, commissioned me to write a piece for those two uh, group of, groups of young people. And so I wanna thank Miriam Capion. I wanna thank Marissa Works, uh, their accompanist, Yuniko Harada, I also want to thank some people here in Chicago because a lot of things have to go on behind the scenes in order for you to hear what you're going to hear tonight. Special thanks to Richard Nunley Jr., Kaylin Jones, Samantha Taylor, Kyla Turnipseed, Fatima White, Juanice Foster, Ray Myra Hilliard. All of those people were instrumental. Oh, and Reno Lovison, our videographer. All of those people were instrumental in making this happen tonight. So Journey uh, is a piece that kind of, I was inspired by a line from Lucille Clif Clifton. Uh, she talks about when she gets to the other side, she has some questions that she wanted answered. And so that was the impetus for the lyrics uh, that I wrote. And uh, then as far as the music is concerned, after speaking with Miriam, she gave me the range of the, the singing range of the kids and the stuff that they like to sing. And so that's how the music came about. After you hear the world premiere of Journey, you also hear another world premiere called Resilience. Resilience is a combination of, of five composers getting together, doing something that's called um, Exquisite Corpse. Exquisite Corpse came about uh, during a, uh, as a, a literary device. So people in Paris would get together and they would write a poem together. And so one person would write one line and then the next person would write the next line and so forth and so on. But they did not know what the previous line was. They never saw the music or the words until the end of the evening. And so that's what happened with Exquisite Corpse, uh, excuse me, with Resilience. It's an Exquisite Corpse piece that is put together by musicians as opposed to poets. So each of the five composers will rep be represented in this piece. You'll hear music from Esther Hanviriapont. You'll hear music from Patricia Moorhead. You'll hear music from Janice Miserell Mitchell. You'll hear music from uh, Kyung Mi Choi. And you'll hear music from yours truly, Regina Harris Bayaki. All played on the bass oboe, a beautiful, beautiful instrument that I fell in love with when I uh, attended Pat Moorhead's 80th uh, birthday concert. So without further ado, please welcome the ATS Choir. ATS stands for Arlington Traditional School in Arlington, Virginia. And this is the fifth grade choir singing Journey. And they will be followed by Alex Klein performing Resilience on Bass Oboe. Yeah. 
Hello everyone, and I'd like to introduce you to the bass oboe. We know the oboe gives the A to tune the orchestra. It's an ancient instrument that has a haunting sound, which I consider to be the most beautiful instrument in the orchestra. But I'm suspicious to talk about it. And this is the bass oboe. It is twice as long as the regular oboe, and it fits right in into the double reeds of the orchestra. You are now going to hear wonderful new music just written for the bass solo. Enjoy.
If you're just joining us, my name is Regina Harris Bayaki. I'm the founder of Six Degrees Composers, and you just heard two wonderful pieces. I want to say something about the first piece you heard, Journey. Each one of those students that you hear singing rehearsed with their teachers, obviously, but they produced their own videos. Okay, so they're at home like everyone else because of the pandemic, and they made their recordings to a click track. And for those of you who are not musicians, uh, they have something in their ear that basically is like a, a metronome. So it tells them where the beat is. And they're also listening to the pianist. So they have a piano part. And in addition to doing all of that listening, they're making their own video. And I'm just so impressed with that. Uh, I cannot say enough about uh, ATS School and the wonderful job that the kids have done. So thank you so very, very much to the students and to their teacher, Miriam Capion and Marissa, uh, Marissa Works, and also their accompanist, Unico Harada. Thanks also to Alex Klein. I hope you will take an opportunity to read his biography. Alex is a wonderful musician. He is, uh, you know, has accolades from all international orchestras. He was, he still is the emeritus uh, um, soloist for Chicago Symphony Orchestra, uh, not just on bass oboe, but on the entire oboe family. So please take an opportunity when you get a chance to look at those bios. Our next set includes two pieces, a piece for organ that I wrote for my mom called Doxology, and a piece by Janice Miserell Mitchell called War Chant. And in Janice's piece, you'll also hear from our newly named Illinois Poet Laureate, Angela Jackson. And as many of you may know, the Illinois Poet Laureate is a position that was held by Carl Sandburg, and then he passed the torch on to Gwendolyn Brooks. And so this year, our governor named Angela Jackson, our Poet Laureate, and Janice Miserell Mitchell will tell you a little bit about her piece, War Chant. Doxology for a pipe organ will be performed by Will Smith, and because Will Smith was kind enough to read my, not Will Smith, the Jada Will Smith, that would be hilarious, wouldn't it? <laughs> but anyway, <laughs> William Smith or Will Smith is from Denver and he will read my program notes and he will introduce himself, but he's a composer, he's an organist, he's a choir director an all around musician. So without further ado, please welcome Will Smith performing doxology for pipe organ. Hi, I'm Will Smith. I am the organist and music director here at Central Presbyterian Church in Denver, Colorado. And I'll be playing Regina Harris Bayaki's Doxology uh, for pipe organ. And Doxology was written uh, in dedication to Regina's late mother, who she cites as the greatest example of living prayer in her life. Um, and I just, I wanted to read the prayer that um, Regina's seventh grade teacher had taught her that also inspired this work. Holy Spirit of Almighty God, silent, secret, all preserving, you are wisdom, you are love, you are strength and fidelity. Without you, I am none of these, yet I need them all. I know you will give me these gifts, and I sincerely want them, that I may never do wrong, that I may be wise in all my activity, that I may love truly, that I may serve God faithfully, that I may have sufficient strength for the task God has given me. Amen. I hope you enjoy the work.
Hello, I'm Janice Miserel Mitchell, another member of the Six Degrees Composers. I'd like to talk to you a bit about the upcoming piece called War Chant for flute voice, dancer, and percussion. War Chant is taken from a larger work, which is a poem called War Chant of the Architect, and it's by Angela Jackson, Chicago poet and now Illinois Poet Laureate, in this volume of poetry. This is from 1993, Dark Legs and Silk Kisses, The Beatitudes of the Spinners. The volume uses spider imagery to depict a large number of relationships of its figures to their society, to politics, to race, to identity, and this poem does that very beautifully. In 2016, I asked Crystal Sabach, a dancer whom I'd worked with before, and Crystal also does a lot else, you can check her out on Facebook, um, to choreograph a dance that would work with the poem. And this, I felt, went really beautifully. We performed it at Sherwood Community Music School on a Six Degrees concert in the winter of 2016, and the video was taken by Rena Logason. So I hope you enjoy this. This is going to be preceded by a reading by the poet, Angela Jackson. War Chant of the Architect. I am the architect of the bridge and the music, seven horns soloing, silver stepping stones walking, one horn echoing gold in a steady drum beat. I built the bridge over bone crushing river. I did not look down in flight. Dry long soul like always, unassuming, just believing in the boomerang of giving. You can call that holy if you want, I call it working. I am the alchemist stirring in the heat, in the heart, out of blues, I spin gold. Crafty Anansi daughter outwitting Rumpelstiltskin in this day, in this time. Once. I stole fire from the lions because it was mine. I sold the sky god's words to the trees. I sat among naked birds and wove them wings. Oh, I cry out of soil, monotony counting steps in tenements and urine drenched projects. I scurry from the hawk with two shopping bags weighing me in the wind, overpriced groceries and sold stolen dreams leaking out through brown paper seams. I slip sidewalk cliffs and wise cracks, slanting mouths pointing down. I tremble in the squalor of discounted flesh and blood and memory, in squandered dignity, in refused beauty, in shunted hopes and locked treasure and lost key. I go about my doing, consuming byproducts of waste and strange and bitter fruits. I call it working, making doilies for TV tops, washing lace and washing, weeping away Sundays when I sing or sleep late. It's all routine, but deep inside I dare a dream, dare a dream. When I hear the heavy footsteps with heavy soles and lead heels, when I hear them walking close, I run for cover, calling mother, calling father, uncles, aunts, cousins, brothers, sisters, a multitude of my line to come and drop down like armies of black rain, crawling nightmares of the worst kind, stroking white machetes in the night. But I am quiet now doing what a brown woman does at dusk and deeper, braiding my hair and singing old songs, rising on the spines of trees, sending shivers through the wind. I am only remembering the singing memory because remembering is fighting. Remember. I am the architect of the bridge in the music, climbing sheer air over crushing rivers, urine drenched projects, dirty tenements, hawk and hucksters, hustlers and empties cast aside, glinting broken in moonlight, over sneering overseers and war worship where mostly the dark die, over heavy boot steps, hair maimed, neon adoration, dross, notions and nothing sold over the counter, singing endless 
deprival in my American dreams, climbing sheer air over shuffling inadequate mime men, dueless dead-eyed lost, playing muscle games and video, fist in the face desire, slash and burn tenderness where nothing blooms in soil no deeper than a TV screen. I am braiding my hair and singing old songs while dark walks in from the window and trees make bridges in the slow wind while things unseen go about their dry long so. I sing old songs and remember who I am the alchemist making blues gold, African daughter outwitting gnome. I stole my fire from the cold lions. I sold wisdom to trees. I sat naked among naked birds and wove them wings.
among naked birds. <laughs> Hi, if you're just joining us, my name is Regina harris Bayaki, and this is Six Degrees Composers, five women producing and presenting original music. Thank you very much, Janice, for War Chant. That was beautiful. War Chant, uh, inspired by a poem by Illinois Poet Laureate uh, Angela Jackson, and it featured Crystal Saba. Please forgive me, Crystal, if I mispronounce your name and also our percussionist, Steve Butters. They did a wonderful job of war chant. I also wanna thank Will Smith for his interpretation of my doxology for pipe organ. Thank you so much, Will, I really appreciate that. And I'd like to take this opportunity to remind you that Six Degrees Composers and our sponsor, Hot House Global, would like to inspire you to donate to our cause. Uh, there is a donate button uh, uh, under the about section on Twitch and in the description on Facebook. So if you can make a donation, we would appreciate it. Uh, we also would like to hear from you if you want to make comments, uh, suggestions, or if you just want to say something to us, you can either uh, email us uh, on our web through our website, sixdegreescomposers.com, or you can um, enter something in the chat. So two ways to communicate with us, and I hope you are inclined to donate. This next piece that's coming up, Rare Yet Soft, is a beautiful piece by Kyung Mi Choi. She has, she's such a, a multi-talented person. And even though um, I can't even begin to, to imagine doing an animated piece and writing the music and writing the poetry, Kyung Mi has done all of this so wonderfully, and it's a piece that she will dedicate to her dad. So please welcome Dr. Kyung Mi Choi as she presents Rare Yet Soft. Hello, I'm Kyung Mi Choi. Thank you for joining today. The piece you will watch is my 3D animation that I use my own poetry and image that I created and music I wrote. This piece is dedicated to my father who passed away a couple of years ago. And this piece is a part of large animated song cycle that I wrote for him. I hope you enjoy. Thank you.
If you're just joining us, we were honored to see Kyung Mi Choi's Rare Yet Soft. What a beautiful piece, a great tribute to her dad. And I hope the young people who are watching uh, realize how much work uh, goes into that. She did all the animation, she wrote the poetry, she wrote the music. The animation alone would be a lifetime of work for me. Uh, Kyung Mi is just such a, a well-rounded artist and she did a beautiful job. I know her dad is very happy with that piece. And it's just so touching, so poignant, and so beautiful. Thank you so much, Kyung Yoo. Really appreciate it. Um, we come to our last piece here called Things Change. And if you did not hear earlier, this piece, like the other piece, Journey, that I wrote, was commissioned by Miriam Capion for the ATS uh, fourth grade choir. That's Arlington Traditional School in Arlington, Virginia. And so I wanna thank Miriam and all the people at her school, her principal, her assistant principal, and the superintendent. Uh, when I did a classroom visit, I was able to meet some of these people. I wanna thank uh, Miriam, uh, Marissa Works, who is Miriam's assistant, and Yuniko Harada, who is Miriam's uh, uh, pianist, accompanist. I also wanna thank the people here in Chicago who helped put it together. Raina Lovison is our videographer. I want to thank Richard Nunley, Kayla Jones, Samantha Taylor, Kyla Turnipseed, Fatima White, Juanice Foster, and Ray Myra Hilliard. Thank you so much for making Journey and Things Change come to pass. I appreciate it. So Things Change was inspired by something my mother used to always say to us. There's a long road that doesn't end and an even longer road that does not bend. And basically what she meant or what I interpreted to mean is that things change, good, bad, and different, nothing lasts forever. So if you're going through a really rough patch, just hang on because things will change, things will get better. And if you're going through a great patch where everything is wonderful, Make sure you enjoy every moment because you can't just stay up all the time. You know, the whole, the only constant in the world is change. In other words, change is the only thing that you can rely on. So without further ado, I'd like to welcome Miriam Capion and the ATS fifth grade choir singing the world premiere of my piece entitled Things Change. Hello, my name is Elissa. Welcome to our performance, Things Changed. Let's get started. Thank you. 
That is so beautiful. You kids are blowing on my phone. Everybody's texting me, telling me how wonderful you are. I cannot tell you enough how I am so thrilled to be working with these kids. Every video that you see, each kid produced his or her own video. They've got a click track in one ear and the piano in the other ear, and they're singing their little hearts out. So please give it up for the ATS choir, the fourth and fifth grade choir. Thank you so much, Miriam Capion. Thank you so much, Marissa Works. Thank you, Unico Harada, Richard Nunley Jr., Kayla Jones, Samantha Taylor, Kyla Turnipseed, Fatima White, uh, Janice Foster, Ray Myra Hilliard. And it sounds like I'm saying these names off the top of my head, right? Wrong. Anyway, thank you so much. I am just, you know, I got a really beautiful text from someone here in Chicago saying she is over the moon hearing these kids sing. And I really, really appreciate it. This concludes our program for the evening. I hope that if you liked what you heard, that you are inclined to make a donation. If you cannot donate at this time, please drop us a line. Let us know uh, what you think of the concert. If you can donate, the donate button is under the about section on Twitch uh, TV. And if you're on Facebook, uh, it's in the description section. If you'd like to make a donation to Hot House Global, you can go on their website. That's hothouseglobal.com, I believe. It could be hothouseglobal.net. Thank you so much to Bea Cabrera and to Marguerite Horberg, both at Hot House. Bea is our technical director, so everything is clicking and, and working because of Bea, because if, it were, if you were left up to me to push the right button, I think we'd be back in the Stone Ages somewhere. Thank you so much, Marguerite Horberg, for hosting us, and we look forward to coming back again soon. Uh, please visit sixdegreescomposers.com. Look at the program, uh, look at our program notes, Look at our bios about each performer, about each composer. Please let us know what you think. And you can always commission a composer to write a piece for you, for your anniversary, for your birthday, for your mom's anniversary. If you got a cat and want me to write some music for your cat, I can write cat music. Anyway, thank you so very much. This is Regina harris Bayaki, and I'm saying good night on behalf of Esther Hanveria-Punt. Dr. Patricia Moorhead, Dr. Janice Mitchell, Dr. Kyung Mi Choi, thank you so very much for spending an evening with Six Degrees Composers. Be safe and have a wonderful evening. Take care. <laughs>